Have you ever been told that watching TV is bad for you? Well, that is a lie that your parents told you so that you'd stop watching TV. Today, we're gonna be looking at lies that we were told as a kid. So apparently 85% of people believe that watching TV is actually bad for you. Do you guys believe it this? It is, right? Well, yeah, no, it's it, a, it is. I, I always thought so, and I'm, I'm assuming it's the same thing with monitors too, but apparently studies have shown that this is a total myth. But most people still avoid it. I'm a part of that 85%. My mom told me, me that TV was bad. So, I mean, I try to avoid it. I didn't really, but. <laughs> I heard chocolate's bad. I hope that's also on this list because I <laughs> love chocolate. <laughs> Wait, what's this next one? Peeing in the pool turns water purple? That is I a myth. I can't confirm. I can actually confirm <laughs> wow. that that is a myth. <laughs> how can you confirm this? I, I feel like people tell that to you so how. that you don't pee in the pool as a child. And then it turns out that you do it every once in a while. And then there's no chemical that turns it purple. What are you guys talking about? You guys Jack do it once in a while. In the pool. <laughs> What are you guys talking about? It, it maybe has happened before. It when the, like it, it, with when in the I was younger, Listen, I used to pee in the pool, you know? Uh, it, everybody does I it. I would do it for the greater good of everybody because the pool would be cold and I would pee to warm oh it up. Oh my gosh, dude, that's, that's gross. It's, well, there's it's, filters it's, in there and chemicals that they're actually, they're asking you to pee in it, you know? They well, have so many that things could, that clean the water. That could seriously give you a cold, but apparently you won't catch a cold in the winter. <laughs> Wait, what? You'll catch a cold in this weather. I don't Research know if I believe that one. I don't know. I don't know if oh, I'm wow. never by that because I'm pretty cold sure weather and getting sick. I'm pretty sure in cold weather you have a better chance of getting sick. I I mean that's what we were told, but apparently it's not true. Well, it's think about that. Really like scientists told me what about, this. What about, what about people that? Well, how many scientists? Jack, what are you, you talking know? about? That, it says it's not true. Yeah, it Your says mom it's not true. Told you that. Be, what about people that live in Alaska? Do they just like always have colds? No, nope. probably not. No, they do not. Probably not. No, because they they dress warm. It's like if you go out in the cold weather. I don't know about that, Jack. You'll get sick if you're like in a t-shirt. Apparently that's not true. Apparently that's not true. I looked it up. It said low temperatures can increase the likelihood of getting sick. It says it's not true. Like, it's it's just not true, Jack. Now listen, I believe this chart wholeheartedly. Your this mom, chart I don't know if you guys just believe you. a random YouTube video. Your parents lied to you, Jack. Okay, anyway. What about 50, Google? Well, I think we should move on and just accept that this just is correct it, and no Jack. other source is correct no matter what. Eating carrots helps you see in the dark. 55% of people believe this. No, I can actually confirm this one. I have a story. If you're one of these 55%, leave a like, comment. Yeah, so I was used to be a scared of the dark, so I used to eat lots of carrots when I was younger, no. and I always thought that, you know, they're not going to do anything. And then after eating carrots for like a good couple of months, I could see better in the dark. That's it's a myth. It's a straight lie. No. It says it's a straight lie. You've you got to been... trust me, bro. Are no. you just going to go against every Jack, single thing that this Jack. thing says? You guys got to trust me on this one. <laughs> My... Trust me. Also, I was told that eating carrots just helps your vision. I didn't. I never it knew does. it was in the dark. I just thought it was no, your yeah, vision yeah, in general. It just helps your vision in general. So it, it automatically by that helps your vision in the dark. It, it's well. a straight lie. You guys have both been manipulated and lied to by your parents. Don't pull faces or it'll freeze that way. 52 people actually, 52% of people actually believe that? Holy guacamole. 52% of people believe that if you pull your face in one way or another, that it would freeze that way. Oh, I did hear this. Especially if you get hit by like a soccer ball and your face is like all messed up. If your face is like, <laughs> and you get hit by a soccer ball, it'll like stay that way. Jack, you're you can't just say every Jack. single thing is incorrect. That is not how this works. Jack has been manipulated, dude. Guys, oh I'm my just God. telling you, I'm telling you that you got to trust me, guys. Don't listen to the YouTube video. Listen to your friend. My parents did tell me that. Like, you know how you like, you Pull your ears and stick your tongue out like that face. My oh, parents yeah. told me that my ears would get stuck that way. So that's oh, what I was told. That's why your ears look like that. Yeah, they okay. do look pretty ugly. That's just, let's move on. Apparently, parents know when you're lying. Is that Actually, true? 50% of people I believe think, this. I think most of the time they do know when you're lying, but that's because kids are really bad liars most of the time. Yeah, I think this one's actually true. <laughs> this next one. Apparently, 48.5% of people believe that you won't get in trouble if you tell your parents. It doesn't matter what that's you did. As long as you just tell your parents, they, they won't put you in trouble. That's a lot. Breathe, Adam. Adam, breathe. That's breathe. A lie, breathe. Dude, Adam, I'm breathe. freaking out. It's uh, a, it's Adam's a, it's getting a all lie. worked up over this one. I think Adam might have been told this one. It's a flipping lie. Well, you know, that also they, depends on the parents. It yeah, does depend on the parents. Cops do the same thing. They, they're like, hey, yes. tell me anything. It's going to be okay. You won't go yeah. to jail. Parents take that same role and they make you seem like you could tell them anything where you should be able to tell your parents anything, but most of the time you can't because then you're going to get in trouble. Well, anyway, the next one is about goldfish and Adam. Goldfish 
have memories of three seconds. Wait, goldfish have what? But apparently that's not true. They only have three Gold, second goldfish, memories. Goldfish have what? Goldfish only have memories for three seconds. Okay, Jax. Goldfish. I think Jax a goldfish, bro. Let's just goldfish have what? Okay. I, I never heard that one. Bulls get angry at the color red. 46% of people believe that. Obviously. I believe this. I used to believe it, but I stopped believing it because, yeah, it, it says it's just a motion thing. No. I think, yeah, that's, no, it's, I think it is just a motion thing. Why I think red? red is just the color that they decided that, like, people oh. are just drawn to red. But actually, I did just look it up, and bulls are colorblind to red. Stop so looking just things up. We have the facts right here. Yeah, these I got are, a fact this check is all everything. Right to know. We have well, facts anyway, here. cracking your knuckles gives you arthritis. 45% of people told believe this. that. I I'm was pretty told sure my that, aunt told this. Told but then this. one of my high school teachers actually told me that wasn't true, and that's why he's my favorite teacher ever, because I love cracking my knuckles. So anybody watching, you can crack as much as you want, because the cracks eventually reset, and it doesn't give you arthritis. Well, all it actually is is crack releasing little, like, air bubbles in your knuckles. That's all it's doing. It's not actually cracking your bones. No, You can crack, oh. like, pretty much all your joints have these air bubbles I'm getting in them. goosebumps. And same with your back as well, your spine. Like, you're not going to get spinodiliosis if you crack your spine. Well, did you know that 44% of people believe that if you touch a toad, you'll get warts? Wait, wait, no, this I was one's one real. This one's, this one's real I, because I Adam, that. Adam did this. Adam, Adam touched toads all the time as a no. child, and he would no, always no, no, have warts. No, Jack, it's toads, not toes. Oh, no, toads. It's toads. No, but Adam would also touch toads as well. Oh, yeah, but it, it was probably all the toes he was touching Maybe. that would get him those warts. Here oh. we go. He's looking it up. I gotta look it up. <laughs> um, warts are not caused by touching toads. However, toads can irritate human skin. That sounds like it's a similar things. Who knows? Well, what it says if you, you eat what, it, you might you not have die. known. What you might not have known is that if you shave your hair, it makes it thicker. It doesn't make it thicker. That's a myth, and I knew it. Ooh. Eating raw dough causes worms. Oh, oh gosh. I've been no, eating a lot of raw cookie dough. Please tell me that's wait, not wait, true. Wait, wait, wait. It doesn't cause worms, right? Wait, were you guys Only told that? I don't think I was told that one. I was told like you can't eat cookie dough. The raw eggs in there. Yeah. What is it? I, I don't even know what causing it. worms means. But. All right, guys. On three. Raise your hand if you ate raw cookie dough. One, two, three. Now keep your hands raised if you've peed in a pool. All right, Jack and Alex still have their hands you raised. You guys at home have to do this as well. <laughs> <laughs> I see Jack and Alex hand up. Okay. I see little Johnny raising his hand in the back. Actually, I see you, Johnny. The five second rule is not true. This is something that you drop no. like an apple on the floor. No. As long as you pick it up and eat it in five seconds. So actually, so as soon as it hits the surface, especially if it's like a really dirty surface, it's already going to be contaminated with all the bacteria. No, it, takes, and it takes five seconds for the bacteria to get no, onto the No, think about it this way. Think about it this way, Adam. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. if you have an apple, you drop it in poop and yeah. pick it up in two seconds? You still That's not that? good. That's wipe, not good. Wipe, wipe. 38% of people believe that dogs only see black and white. Yes. That is not they're, true. They're colorblind. They don't. No, they no, actually they, see guys, a couple of Are you of guys colors. saying this or like, like do you well, actually I, know I, this? Or you a just lot of these it? things I, I looked up at some point or another in my life because I was I was curious if my dog Petey it was able to actually see colors because it seemed like he was. And then I was like, huh, can they see colors? It huh. seemed they like he was. They can. <laughs> how did you know that? How would you know that? <laughs> well, because it seems like he likes his red toys better than the other toys. It was it because it was red or because it was different? I don't know, honestly. Oh, wait, Jack. I think you've done this next one before. Human <laughs> urine heals jellyfish things. I told no. you it's not true. <laughs> I, did, we actually had this conversation that. before. He did say it's that. It's not uh, true. Jack just loves an excuse to pee on himself, apparently. Why do all these survival shows that I watch, why are they all peeing on each other when they get stung, huh? I think they just like to pee on each other, honestly. Riddle me that, They're all boys. weird. I don't, I don't get it, all right? Just go to the doctor. What if I, what if I only can pee? All right, 20% of people believe that video games will turn you violent, and I actually have proof That's true. that I can show you guys today, right now. Alec rages, I'm telling you, man. I don't know if it's because of video games, but... <clears throat> There's a difference between raging and being He's violent. already getting mad. He's already getting heated up. There's He's getting a heated difference. Up. There's a difference, I promise. Not even two days ago, Alec broke his mic stand because he was oh losing an Akinator Pokemon. <laughs> If that's <laughs> not a it's sign, not true. That it's not even a video violent. game. I don't know what they're you're saying. Old. It's not true. I've though. never seen somebody get more violent from a video game. I've seen him almost break that. things. I believe this. 100%. I've seen him break lots of things and almost break important people's faces. I'm a part of the 27. percent Almost is the key word, though. I'm not violent. I just rage. What is their comeback mm. for this? Humans have been fighting wars for thousands of years. Games don't hurt anyone. They're just saying words. Magnets point to the North Pole. That's true. No, it's not true. Oh wait, no, that's a compass. Yeah, but a compass. Works 
works with a magnet, right? Yeah. No, no, no. A compass doesn't actually point to the north if there's another magnetic field that overrides yes. the North Pole. Like what? It points to the strongest magnet. It just magnet. has to be a really... Well, it's typically the North Pole, but if you have a strong magnet close to it, then it doesn't work. You swallow spiders in your sleep. I actually did believe... Someone told me once that you swallow eight spiders in your lifetime in your sleep. Well, apparently not. I thought about it before, and Did I was we? like, there's no way that's true. Wait, yeah, they would get stuck actually, in your throat. It, it's probably true for some people. Somebody has swallowed a spider in their sleep. Probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. And it's it's not but me. Not for the mass majority of people. Okay, not be me. honest. Did you guys believe that you only use 10% of your brain? I did believe that, and I, I still do, I guess, until so today. So here's what it is. <laughs> here's what it is. You only can use 10% of your brain at once, but you can use your your whole brain, but you can only use you like 10% of, of the it. sections. Exactly. Is that the same thing? No. It's, no, it's different because you use 100% of your brain, but only 10 of it at a time. Oh, but some yeah. people, some people can use more or less. Like, like you could play the violin and like give a monologue at the same time. Is that using two parts of the brain at once? It's I don't probably know. using two parts of the. I would, I would think so. Maybe, yeah, probably. So I people think that are good at multitasking can probably use more than 10%. I think everybody right. uses the same amount of their brain, but everybody uses it a little bit differently. I was always told that you could see the Great Wall of China from space. Apparently not. Who told you that, Alex? Well, what if? Okay, but what if you? Have a telescope in space and you telescope back into I, the earth I know then who you told can see you that. It. who told you that? Alec, the parent? telescopes are in space like most of the telescopes are in space most okay, of like but, the high power right, ones. if you point it back at earth then you can see the great wall of china i guess technically alex right i think they're saying from, like, the, from the naked yeah. eye from the naked eye you can't oh, see oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay that makes sense what is going on with alec the naked eye i don't know man i think he's well, starting to feel overwhelmed by all the lies he's realizing he was told you guys might not know that but what i do know is that 15% of people believe that Santa Claus gives coal to the naughty kids. That's I not can true. actually, I can, I can confirm this. I can confirm this. I also that it is true. One of my friends got coal because yeah, uh, yeah. One, one of Adam's friends. He brought. Yeah, they're saying it's not true. Well, well, you see, he brought a knife to school when I was in like third grade, and that year he got coal, and he also got expelled. Got <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it was a rough year for Hunter. It was a rough time for Hunter, man. He bounced back. Oh, though. don't don't say a name. Oh, yeah, that's not his name. It, it, we're, no, we're using a pseudonym. No, it was yeah, actually Adam. Yeah. No, that's not his. That's someone the else. The friend's not it real. The entire thing's about Adam. It was, it was Adam. And well, I'll do it again. He saw it in a video game. For a long while in my life, I believed. That gum takes seven years to digest. I'll admit it. <laughs> no, you I not. You're, just... you're so dumb. You're so, <laughs> you're so dumb. dumb. I, did believe... I was like 10. I was like 10 years old. I believe that. A... You're the dumbest 10 year old ever. And then I got when I got older, I realized that's probably not true. <laughs> when did you realize? I don't know. Because I used to play baseball growing up and we'd chew a lot of gum playing baseball. And my coach yeah, would yeah. always say, don't swallow oh. the gum. It takes seven years to digest. Yeah, wait, why say, is okay, it bad to swallow gum? Not. Is it? I don't know. What? There's a reason why they say that. Like all of these probably have like a little hint of truth to them. It'll exit you in a few days. Well, yeah, it says your stomach might not always digest the gum, but it will still exit yeah, you. Yeah, it's in like a few eating days. corn, honestly. Oh, uh, so it might get stuck when it's coming yeah, out. Yeah, you guys I ever understand. like look at your poo and like you see a little cornflake? And anyway, 13.5% of people believe that what? it's not going to hurt at all <laughs> when you get any sort of needle in your arm. I was told that's, that's this, a lie. and then I realized Wait, very quickly that <laughs> it it does hurt. It does hurt. And then like every single five time, seconds. <laughs> like, I would go to the doctor. Yeah. I would hide under a chair because that How do that believe it hurt that, though because that they. Would, they would get the needle in right after they would realize that it's not true. Well, yeah, well, yeah. If your parent takes you to the doctor and they're like really tired and they're like, all right, we got to get you a vaccine, like they're going to be like, ah, oh, it doesn't even hurt. And then it does hurt. It does hurt. And then you lose trust in your parents for at least a day. 4% of people believe that an ice cream truck has music and it means that they're sold out whenever the ice cream truck music is going. Now I think getting... parents probably said that to their children. Yeah, we're getting to like the low of low of people who actually believe this stuff. That's actually so smart. I'm probably going to tell it to my kids, but I was never told that the music means it's sold out. That's genius. That, that is, is genius. good. But then you might have a child that's going up to an ice cream truck that might not be an ice cream truck because they're not oh, playing music I and was... then you got some issues there. I was also told that if you don't give your kids ice cream, they might become serial killer so this might have the opposite effect of what they're actually going for this might be in like you're, the 0.25 percent wait is that is that true right. is that true my this might be in the, that. this might be in the atom percentage oh no dude strangers are friends you haven't met yet three percent believe that are they saying like all strangers are friends is what three people <laughs> yes, believe? yeah believe? Speaking what this are all next friends. one says the person might be a serial killer anyway one percent of people believe that a bird told me what does that mean i think these are just sayings that like people yeah, actually yeah, take as now the factual 
actual statement that no, they're a, a birdie a told me that you're gonna leave a like and subscribe because everybody knows that birds probably can't talk right wait hang on i have to admit i was probably part of this 0.5 percentage over here no the fish Tell is sleeping story. well i don't have a specific story but i think when i was like six or seven or whatever you're in like preschool or elementary school like kindergarten and we had our pet fish or whatever and it wasn't moving i would be like yeah it's sleeping it made sense to me it added up to me the next day i would come in it would be moving again because the teacher would get a new fish it's and replace it. Fish? Oh, <laughs> but I would just think it was sleeping. I think there's a lot of stories like that. You're in the 0.5%, dummy. I think we know what we what we figured out today. Alec needs some help. Alec might be the dumbest Okay, here. guys. Come on. <laughs> Birdie told me that Alec's stupid. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Click this right here if you want to see what we do for a billion dollars.